Hey guys, today we are going to be making a animation inspired by the Macy's Day Parade. Um, so to get started, we are going to go into self-service. Okay, remember, self-service is this one right here. Click it. I'm going to go up to the three dots. And I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom until I see the one that says AT. AT. And there should be an app in there that says flip a clip cartoon animation. That's when I want to install. So I'm gonna install that. And while that installs, I'm gonna go do something else. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Seesaw. You guys know where Seesaw is. And you're gonna to go to art. Okay, so here's my fake art page that I have. You're gonna have a Macy's Day project that's gonna look something probably like this. It should have a picture of this city. Okay, you're gonna click on that. And you're gonna go down here to the bottom corner with the square and the arrow pointing up. We're gonna click on that. And we're gonna to go to save to camera roll. Okay, and then what that's gonna do is it's gonna save this picture into your photo. So that way we can work on top of it. So as we learn in our book, typically the Macy's Day Parade takes place in New York City. Well, not typically, it always does. Um, so that picture is actually from New York City. So it's kind of a nice background for what we're gonna do. Uh, I could go into flip a clip now. And when you get in and flip a clip, it's going to ask you to verify your age. We're just going to put a one. Okay. You don't need to put your actual age, just a one. And then we can hit accept and we can hit skip. Okay. Next, I'm going to go to this plus sign down at the bottom and you can name your project. So I'm just going to put parade and we need to set a background. Background is this little square with the mountain and the sun. I'm going to click it. And we are going to go into your photo library. It's going to ask you if you can, if it can use your photos, you need to hit allow access to all photos. And then we're going to click on our um, city picture up here, right? Give it a click. Bam. We want that as our background. So we can hit done. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to right here where it says frames per second. Okay, and we want to lower our frames per second. Okay, flip a clip is kind of like making a flip book. All right, and if you know what a flip book is, that's a book where each page has a picture that's slightly different. So typically the more you do, the smoother it's gonna be, but it's gonna be a lot more work. Okay, so if I did this one, this means it would take 30 drawings to make one second of video, which is a ton. So we're just gonna do four. Okay, you can see it's a little bit jerkier. That's okay though, because otherwise we'd be working for so long on this. So four, and then we can go back and hit this back arrow. Four, and then the back arrow. And now we can create our project, this big red button. All right, here is my background. I want you to think about what you want your flow to look like. Um, Mr. Uh, Sarg, Tony Sarg from our book, he was inspired oftentimes by um, children's books. So maybe there's a book that you really like that you want to use a character from that. Maybe there's a cartoon character like SpongeBob that you want to use. Maybe you just want like a random object like a donut or a boot or uh, uh, maybe I'll do a Diet Coke can. So I'm going to go up here to my pen. I'm going to start just by creating my drawing. Probably want it to be black. I'm going to start off with black. I think I'm going to do a Diet Coke can. So I'm going to start off with the top of it. Okay, draw with your finger. You can zoom in and out by pinching. I would recommend zooming in so it makes it a little bit easier. Making my can. Obviously yours does not need to look like mine. Looks like I've got the opening to my can. My little tab. That wasn't a very good one. Um, if there's something you don't like, you can hit the back arrow up here. That'll get rid of that. Right, I could add my Coke label. So I think it goes this way. So I'm just going to write Coke. Do a nice job. Add some details. I should be able to tell like what your drawing is actually of. All right, um, next, I can um, touch the little pen right here. 
and I can change it. Actually, I'm going to go back. I'm going to hit the back arrow, and then I'm going to hit this paint bucket, actually, so I can fill it in. If I hit that paint bucket again, it'll bring up this one where I can actually change the color. So looks like my Coke label is red. So I'm going to get some red, and I can... Um, color that in. Now you'll notice that it just colored in my whole entire can. That's because I messed up. All right? If it does that, it means that there's an opening somewhere in your drawing. So I can actually see right here, my black line is not connected right there. Okay, It's not connected over here too. You got to make sure those lines connect. Otherwise, you're going to end up with that situation that I just had where it fills in way more than what you want. So if you have that situation, you're going to have to go back to your pen. Okay, make sure I got black. And I'm just going to zoom in and make sure that those touch. Make sure it touches. Make sure it looks like up here it didn't quite touch. I'm going to check the bottom too. Okay. Now I should be good to go when I go to fill that in. So I can go back to my bucket and fill that in. Um, my can's probably going to be gray, so I can touch that paint can again and choose a new color. Got a gray. Uh, maybe I'll do another kind of gray for the top of my can. It's not quite the same. There's my pop tab, and then the inside of my can is probably going to be black. Okay, so there is my can. Okay, take some time. Um, come up with a cool drawing. Notice it's pretty big. All right, we want it to be nice and big to start off with. Next, we can't just have a can floating in the air or whatever you decide to draw. We need to add some people holding on to it. So I'm going to draw a line kind of coming down, another line coming down towards the street. Okay, so I did four. I would probably do three or four. Um, and to move around, like I'm doing right now, put two fingers on your screen and scroll around. Okay. Then draw a couple little people. I'm just gonna keep my people really simple. Just stick people. It's kind of hard. Each one should obviously have, each rope should obviously have a person. Don't make them too super huge. Think about how big these people would be compared to the balloon. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on my little people. Okay, and there is my first drawing. All right, now that you have your drawing made, notice how it's nice and big. You're gonna take the lasso tool, it's this circular thing up here, and you are going to draw around the edge of your artwork. Okay, and that's just gonna select your whole drawing. After I've done that, I'm gonna touch this little square up here. Notice how it's got a dashed square and then there's a solid square on top of it. I'm going to touch it. That just made a copy of my drawing. I'm going to come down here and hit the plus and that's going to give me another city scene. Okay, notice that I can kind of see my drawing before. And if you can't see this kind of like they call that an onion image or was it yeah, an onion. Okay, you can turn that on by going up to the three dots and then making sure that onion is turned on it's red you want that that's there to help you okay that kind of shows you what that previous layer is so i've got my picture copied it's not technically on this slide though so now i'm going to hit the next square the one that has the two solid squares right here and now it pasted it and to start to build my animation we're going to make this uh, float look like it's going down the road so last week we were talking about space with Jim Darling. We're going to continue talking about space and making something look like it's going from close to far away. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch this corner of my dashed line. Don't touch one of the ones in the middle. Take a corner. I'm going to make it slightly smaller and I can tell it's smaller because there's my original or that's my last one that I made. So make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to slide it just a little bit closer to the center of my artwork. So that way it kind of looks like it's going to go, um, it's going to kind of start here and it's going to kind of look like it's moving down the street. All right, that looks good. So I can hit the next plus, go up and hit my two squares again, 
make it smaller than the one before, kind of position it. Good, hit my plus, two squares, make it smaller again. So you're gonna be doing a lot of copying and pasting and resizing it. Good, hit my plus down in the corner, paste it, make it smaller. Always make checking to make sure it's smaller than the last one. Good. Paste it. You're just going to do this over and over. Notice how I keep kind of, I started kind of over here. So here was my first one. Notice how I keep kind of moving this direction. I'm going to make it look like it's going down the street. Continue doing that. You don't want it to go to like, here's where I was before. I don't want it to too suddenly get too small. I'm just slowly working my way smaller. And this is how a lot of movies are made, actually, a lot of animated movies. So if you're into this, you can actually like grow up to be an animator. This is kind of what they do. Good. And then down here you can see that there's a 10. That tells me that right now my video is made up of 10 pictures. When we started, we did um, four frames per second. So that tells me that when I get to the 12th one, my video is gonna be three seconds long. So you can see how hard it is being animated. There's a ton of work that goes into all of this. Um, one of my requirements today is that your animation needs to be at least 12 frames long. You can do more than that. The more frames you do, the longer it's gonna be. So I just keep adding, pasting, moving it down the road, add, paste, resize, move it down the road until it looks like it's really getting far off in the distance. So I'm getting pretty close to being done here. I think I'm going to do one more. All right. And notice how this one, it's way back in the middle of the road. So it looks like it's going off in the distance. I can view my video by hitting the play button down here. Play. Notice how it looks like my people are walking. My Coca-Cola floats down the street now. Okay. When you're done with it, um, it just says tap on screen to stop. It's all new Minecraft. Sometimes it's going to make you watch an ad when you do that. Um, you might have to sit through it. You might have to hit an X in a corner somewhere. Um, they're all a little bit different, so you guys are just going to have to kind of figure that out. When you're done, you have at least 12 slides. So I've got 17. Okay, your float goes from big to small, like it's being walked down the street. Then we can go up to the three buttons up here. We're going to hit Make Movie. Um, we already gave it a name. We can hit make movie again. And last but not least, save two photos. Now you can see it also says YouTube and TikTok. You are not allowed to do that. Okay, if I find out that anybody has done that, you will be losing some iPad privileges. So make sure that you are not sending this to YouTube or TikTok. You're hitting save to photos. And this is going to save it to your camera roll, which we can find right back here. So um, here's one that I made the other day. I did donuts going down the street. I did um, this boot. And then I've got my Coca-Cola can. Okay, once you have your video done, you only have to make one. If you want to make more than one, that's fine. You can go into Seesaw. You're going to go into your activity once I get in here. Go into your art class, I'm in mine. Activities, don't just post it to the journal. I don't usually look at the journal, so don't put it in there. Hit add response. Okay, you won't have to hit that sample student. And then you're gonna upload, okay? Don't go to video, you already have your video made. You're gonna upload it. Photos and videos. Um, go to recents or recently added, and then click on your video. And that will upload it and send it to Mr. Calvert. All right, so I can't wait to see what you guys make. 
Um, remember that if you get stuck, go back and watch my video. I kind of walk you through everything. Um, take your time, do a really great job. I can't wait to see what characters you guys choose as your floats. I hope that you have a really great Thanksgiving and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.